Hello, I'm recording this video to show you a quick overview of the fractal object compared with the MOPS convert node inside of Houdini. Just to show you uh, how both tools can, can do basically the same operation. Okay. As you can see here, I have one basic figure object. Uh, I use it, it this object because uh, it's uh, created basically from multiple sub objects inside of this one if i press c to make it editable i can see that i ha i have multiple polygon objects inside of it okay so that uh, this will be an uh, important feature of uh, uh, on this little quick tutorial let's say okay as you may know the fractal object is usually used to in terms of of, of cinema 4d uh, it's used to 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 convert the operation or, or, or actually to be able to use some MoGraph tools uh, together with uh, geometry objects okay we have this op this only option here uh, the mode of the of the object properties the default option is uh, straight the other are explode segments explode segment and, and connect this is the default settings here we have some other um, basic um, stuff like uh, the PSR and extra transform operation for the fracture object, the color, the, the viewport color uh, from it, and the important thing, the effector tab. Here I have, I already have a random effector disabled. Let me enable. And as you can see here, the, um, the object, the figure object is treated like a one single object, right? So if I want to uh, to uh, to change the mode to to uh, to have the control for each element, I should change the mode from straight to explode segments. And now, as you can see, I can uh, each each one of the parts of the geometries. Let me enable this mode from the display index. I can see that uh, each part have one index. That means that each part is a uh, yeah, it's an individual piece of geometry. And um, uh, before this, I can start to do, to do whatever operation I want to do. Okay, if I, for example, I want to scale everything from zero, and um, I can start to play with the fields to to do some animation. That's with Cinema 4D. Now let's talk about the Mops Convert node. Okay, I'm here in Houdini with my template the same I can create my geometry object and I'm going to do this test with the rubber toy geometry okay because the rubber toy is a bit similar to the to the other geometry that I used in Cinema 4D um, each one of these parts are uh, individual objects also so if I uh, do a mobs convert node you can see uh, if i press the, the middle button of the mouse uh, to see to check the information of the of the geometry i can see here that i have a uh, some amount of points other from primitives i have some uh, attributes uh, that is, are describing some multiple properties of my geometry okay but after the mobs convert i have uh, instances called packet fragments or packet geometry. Okay, that will mean that uh, similar to similar to Cinema 4D, the geometries are in, interpreted as a point, and those points will have or will store the multiple properties like a, a, the position, the rotation, the scale, and other thing. Um, and, the, and those properties will be used to, to do the operation that you want for your animation. In, in our case, for this example, the, the, the randomization of the position. One important thing to mention is that the MOPS convert, uh, we can say that it's a bit more flexible uh, compared to the fracture object in Cinema 4D because you can have more control about um, the rule uh, of how it can in, um, Yes, how it can interpret the geometries. By default, uh, we can see that uh, 
the partition method here on this section, the default method is by connectivity. In Houdini, the connectivity, actually I can create a connectivity node, uh, is usually used to create an attribute that will change uh, or it will create an attribute per connected geometry. We can, uh, for example, if, if I create this node called exploded view after my mobs convert, I can see those are my connected geometries. Okay, so that's an important thing. If you want to have access to each connected geometry, uh, a bit similar to, to the Cinema 4D example. And now if I create the one mobs randomize and enable the position randomization, maybe change the seed a bit. And well, you can, at this point, you can start to do whatever you want. For the randomization, we can have the same thing, similar to the same thing for on Cinema 4D. Let's say that I want also to scale the, the pieces like, a, like in the Cinema 4D file. Um, here, in difference to C4D, I will need to create first the falloff or the field information to be applied to, to, the, modifi to, the, yeah, to the transform modifier of the geometry. In this case, I just need to create one mobs plane fall off. Uh, oh, no, sorry, mobs shape fall off. Uh, oh, this one. I, I can also press enter to, to have the handle here on the viewport. Okay. And after the, and after have my, my fall off information, I can create one transform modifier and change the scale of everything. I have everything like this and yes, why not? I can make a little animation here. And this is ready. We can have the same thing. Let's say if for any way reason, I want to have the same behavior, the original behavior from the Cinema 4D, where the geometry should be uh, interpreted as a one single piece how I can do that. And it's a little trick that you can do here. You can change the partition method from connectivity to use one attribute. Okay. And right now, uh, by default, it will try to, to use the class attribute. The class attribute is created by the, by the connectivity node. Okay, the one that I showed you um, before. And because this attribute doesn't exist, it, it, all the geometry will be packed as one single geometry. Now, if I press the third uh, button or the middle button, I can see that now I have one packet geometry. Okay. I usually change the, because sometimes I have the class attribute. If, for example, if I create the, the class attribute with the connectivity node, I, uh, and but also it needs to be on um, primitive. Uh, now I will have again my original ten pieces. But let's say if you have the the class attribute, but do you want to to make like a temporal package for a little animation with the mobs tool or with other to <laughs> Houdini tools? You can also change uh, here. The point is that you can change the, the attribute name by one attribute that doesn't exist. For example, none. Even I, if I press again the middle button, I can see that I have again one packet uh, geometry. For example, now I can use the mobs edit node. This is from the mobs plus uh, toolkit, the commercial extension from mobs because mobs is uh, the regular mobs are free and I, now I can change the yes the PSR properties from my geometry here very very quickly.